this, this is that techno guy. This is one of my first videos on my channel. Um, and basically, it's gonna be like a kind of a tutorial slash launching video. Show you a little uh, rocket thing we've been doing uh, with some hairspray, hairspray rocket. I've seen this done before, so uh, we decided uh, that my dad now we would decide we would get some hammers and stuff and uh, yeah, we would get ahead of it. So, this isn't really techno, this is more crafty sort of uh, video, but um, anyway, uh, it's pretty cool at the end. Uh, so, this is our rocket, it's called the Flame Rider Mark II, as we had another Flame Rider. Uh, we make flame, then we ride it. So this is also our, this is our launcher here. Uh, I'm going to start off with the launcher. We have a PVC pipe. This is 110 millimeters uh, wide in diameter, and with a 110 millimeter end cap. We were planning on doing a 75 millimeter uh, PVC pipe and end cap, but apparently end caps and 75 millimeter end caps and PVC pipes are really hard to find, so we decided we'd get a 110 millimeter pipe, PVC pipe, and end cap. Uh, we like substituted for that. Then, what we did really is we glued on the end cap with some PVC weld, then we drilled some holes, and we got a barbecue gas igniter. You should find these at any gas local gas shop near you, general store. We draw some holes, put the igniter and the, uh, this is the earth, by the way. This wires the earth to that, connects to that, to that nail there. And then when you pull the trigger, you get a spark. And that is how you ignite the hairspray. So that is the PVC pipe launcher really done. Just get the PVC, the barbecue igniter, drill some holes, put, get an earth. I know these newer version of barbecue gas igniters don't have an earth. It usually has a little screw, screw on bit like this. And screw a piece of earth wire into that silver screw on bit there. Connect the earth to a nail. Drill in the, where the electric power is going to go through and you're all done. Now I'm going to the rockets. Basically what we did with the rockets so we got some camping mattress. We put the camping mattress round the PVC pipe so it would just fit round, nice and snug, so it's not too tight, but it won't come off too easily. Okay, but um, you can get it on, you can get on the rocket with one hand, sort of thing. All right. So we got we and we made it at the right length. About this length is about good. Don't know how much this is, so but when put on the rocket, it should be about up to there. We then put on some fins, some nice little fins. Just you can see, but basically how big it is compared to my little hand. And then we glued on the fins at a slight angle to create some spin. Got a two-liter Coke bottle. We cut it out and we wrapped the camping mattress round the Coke bottle and just kind of uh, package taped the Coke bottle cone down. And then that was pretty much it. Right, guys. So let's launch this baby. We're out in the garden to launch our hairspray rockets. We've got the launcher and the rockets and hairspray. Some uh, and if you are thinking of building one of these rockets, some, some hairsprays they aren't flammable. Make sure it's flammable, or extremely flammable would be even better. So basically, what I'm going to do is tilt the rocket kind of like this, like this way. Spray in there for about one and a half seconds. Put on the rockets like that. And click the ignition. Okay, let's do this thing. First, you want to really shake the hairspray. Make sure there's loads of active ingredients. Right, we're going to tilt it. Put in the rocket. Like that. Okay, I'm ready, guys. Five, four, three, two.
have to do is get some good grass and roll it every day. Right. Looks pretty good to me. Fine. Went off well. Yep, you can smell that hairspray, boy. It doesn't seem like it's lost a little nothing, and that went sky high. I think we're going to show you a few slow mo shots of this rock, uh, the rocket we've just launched, and some previous shots. I think we'll just leave it to there. If you'd like, uh, if you like this little short tutorial and launching session, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and if you'd like a more detailed tutorial, uh, please comment to me and tell me that you'd like a more detailed tutorial. Right? Thanks. That's that techno guy. Over and out.